Burly So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burly So. I'm Purified and today we're going to take a look at a walking foot. It's a great foot for sewing thick materials together, uh, quilting straight lines. You can get them for about $8 off of eBay. That's where I got this one. So to give you an overview, right here you have the arm that goes on to the needle clamp screw and you've got this white foot that internally in this unit is attached to that arm. That's what the big white housing is at the back. And when you raise the arm, the white feet drop down through and I'll give you a better look. So this arm is connected to the needle clamp screw which raises up and down every time the needle moves and this is connected to the presser bar. So it's held in place and then needle goes up, feet come down through the presser foot, they connect to the dog feet and will pull your material from the top and bottom as you are sewing. So now to connect it, it would go where your existing presser foot obviously is and you just simply release the presser foot, take off the presser foot holder by loosening the screw and then you're going to replace it with the walking foot. Now on the walking foot there's a channel here that the presser foot bar is going to lock into and you can see it right there. It's that little shape that fits right around the, the bar. Kind of like that. You just slide it right in and I'm going to show you how to do that. And then there's this notch here as well as the arm. And you have to put that on the needle clamp holder as well and then put the screw back in. Or you can try to fit the screw, fit this around the presser foot holder screw but sometimes it's easier just to totally remove the screw so I think for this demonstration I'm just going to totally remove the screw and then you kind of work the foot right on the inside of the arm that moves up and down and then I'll adjust the camera here and you can see how the presser foot bar slides into that black housing and you just have to maneuver it a little bit you do a little jiggling and that's not quite in yet but just give it a little pop and you can see how it kind of locks right around there now at the same time as you do that you actually have to take this top part the bar that goes up and down and put that around your needle screw your needle clamp screw and you can see how it just one motion you can lock it into place up top and then around the bottom and then you can just put your screw back in and I strongly suggest that you make sure that this is pretty tight you don't want to over tighten it but you don't want it to be loose either otherwise you could break a needle um, as well as the screw up here you always want to make sure that the needle clamp screw is tight as you're working through your projects make sure you keep checking it because the up and down motion will loosen it up. And now that we have it attached, the next thing I want to show you is on your machine on this particular machine and on your machine, you should be able to take your presser foot and raise it up higher than the standard raised position. So you got it lowered here, but when you pull it up in the upward position, you should be able to go up further and that'll give you clearance to slide your thick material underneath like this. And now that we've got our material underneath, we'll take a slow start here so you can see the motion of how the mechanism raises and lowers the foot and also pulls the fabric the direction that you're sewing. So I'm going to start off with a little back stitch here and you can sew backwards with this as well. And now I got my back stitch and now you can see that needle goes up pushes the foot down and the material is just walked right through between the walking foot and the dog feet 
grabbing the material and it doesn't matter on the thickness it's great for multiple layers it's great for quilting great for very thick materials it's a, just a great all-around foot to have and I'll show you from another angle the only limitations really are the types of stitches as far as you're gonna only want to use what's gonna work, work with a standard foot so a, you know your straight stitches and then it can handle some zigzag stitches as well so there's a good look at the walking foot it's an inexpensive attachment I think everybody should own especially if you're sewing thicker materials or doing some quilting it's very easy to use so thanks for watching the video if you like what you saw please subscribe and comments and questions below I'm purified and thanks for watching Burley so